Viridian soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, coasties, and even the Space Force guardians out there. Welcome to VetCoin Bootcamp. If you're a veteran or someone that supports veterans, or you just want to learn more about cryptocurrency and the blockchain, you are in the right place. Here at VetCoin Bootcamp, we tackle your most pressing questions about the blockchain using simple and easy to understand grunt speak. So sit back, relax, open your ears as we cover today's topic. What is the vocabulary of cryptocurrency? They say to understand any subject well, you need to understand the words that people use to describe it. Like anything, cryptocurrency has its own lingo, and if you know the lingo, then you know what you're talking about. So, let's get to it. The ABCs of cryptocurrency. Starting in A, altcoin. Altcoin is any coin that's not Bitcoin. Altcoins can be anything from the second most popular coin, Ethereum, to any of the thousands of coins out there. Next word is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the most first and most valuable cryptocurrency. It was launched on January 3rd, 2009. A block. Blocks are groups of data within a blockchain. On cryptocurrency blockchains, blocks are made of transaction records as users buy and sell coins. Each block can hold only a certain amount of information. Once it reaches that limit, a new block is formed to continue the chain. Blockchain. Blockchain is a digital form of record keeping and the underlying technology behind cryptocurrencies. A blockchain is a result of a sequential blocks that build upon one another, creating a permanent and unchangeable ledger of transactions or any other data. Coin. Coin is a representative store of digital value that lives on a given blockchain or cryptocurrency network. Some blockchains have a name for both the network and the coin, like Bitcoin. Others can have different names for each, like the Stellar blockchain, which has its own native coin called Lumen. All right, next, cold wallet, cold storage. So that's a secure method of storing your cryptocurrency completely offline. Many cold wallets, also called hardware wallets, are physical drives that look similar to a USB drive. This kind of wallet can help you protect your crypto from hacking and theft, though also it comes with its own risks. Like if you lose it, you lose all your crypto. Cryptocurrency is any type of currency that's digital and decentralized. Cryptocurrency can be used to buy and sell things or as a long-term store of value. Decentralization. Decentralization is the principle of distributing power away from a central point. Blockchains are traditionally decentralized because they require majority approval from all users to operate and make changes rather than a central authority. Decentralized finance, or DeFi. These are financial activities conducted without the involvement of an intermediary, like a bank, government, or financial institution. Decentralized applications, or DApps. These are applications designed by developers and deployed on a blockchain to carry out actions without intermediaries. Ethereum. Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency by volume. Ethereum is a crypto network and software platform that developers can use to create new applications and has an associated currency called Ether. Next is Exchange. A cryptocurrency exchange is a digital marketplace where you can buy and sell cryptocurrency. Fork. When a blockchain's users make changes to its rules, these changes to the protocol of a fork often result in two new paths, one that follows the old rules and a new blockchain that splits off from the previous one. Example, a fork of Bitcoin resulted in Bitcoin Cash. Gas. Gas is a fee that developers have to pay the Ethereum network in order to use the system. Gas is paid in Ether, the native cryptocurrency of Ethereum. HODL. HODL stands for Hold On For Dear Life. The term originated from a user typed on a Bitcoin forum in 2013 by accident. He meant to say hold, but he wrote HODL instead. So it's taken, taken shape as a word that people use when you buy and hold cryptocurrency. It refers to a passive investment strategy which people buy and hold on the cryptocurrency instead of trading it in hopes that it increases in value. All right, next is the word hash. Hash is a unique string of numbers and letters that identifies blocks that are tied together to crypto buyers and sellers. So if you look at your uh, wallet, it's a series of numbers, usually starts with 0x, dot, 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 but that's your hash. Hot wallet. Hot wallet is a software based cryptocurrency wallet connected to the internet. While more convenient for quickly accessing your crypto, these wallets are a bit more susceptible to hacking and cybersecurity attacks. Just as files you store on the cloud may be more easily hacked than those locked in your safe at home. Initial coin offering. Initial coin offering is a public way that funds are raised for a new cryptocurrency project. ICOs are similar to initial public offerings of stocks, although not exactly the same. Market capitalization. Cryptocurrency and market capitalization refers to the total value of all coins that have been mined. You can calculate crypto's market cap by multiplying the current number of coins by the current value of the coins. Mining. Mining is the process whereby new cryptocurrency coins are made available 
and the log of transactions between users is maintained. Next, we have non-fungible tokens, or NFTs. And these are very popular right now, so you may have heard of them. Non-fungible tokens are units of value used to represent the ownership of unique digital items, like art or collectibles. NFTs are most often held by, on the Ethereum blockchain, although there are some advantages to the Polygon blockchain, as in low or no gas fees. We're going to do a whole breakdown on NFTs later, uh, how to buy, create, sell, store, and work with NFTs. So stay tuned later for another episode of Bitcoin Bootcamp that will cover that. Peer-to-peer. Peer-to-peer is two users interacting directly without a third party or intermediary. Public key. This is your wallet's address, which is similar to your bank account number. You can share your public wallet and key people and institutions can send you cryptocurrency. When you authorize transactions, they can take it from there. So it's like a bank account number. Private key. Private key is an encrypted code that allows you direct access to your cryptocurrency. Like your bank and account password, you should never share your private key with anyone and write it down in a safe place. Satoshi Nakamoto. Satoshi Nakamoto is a pseudonym of the creator of Bitcoin. No one knows who the true identity of Nakamoto is or if it's more than one person. There are some theories out there, but nothing's been confirmed. Next, we have Smart Contract. Smart Contract is an algorithmic program that enacts the terms of contract automatically based on its code. One of the main value propositions of Ethereum network is its ability to execute smart contracts. Stablecoin, or digital fiat. A stablecoin pegs its value to some other non-digital currency or commodity. A digital fiat represents a fiat, a government or backed currency on the blockchain. Example, Tether, which is pegged to the US dollar. Also, as we developed VET Cash, we were gonna make that a stablecoin and peg it to the US dollar, so it stays stable in value. Next is token. A token is a unit of value on the blockchain that usually has some other value proposition besides just a transfer of value, like a coin. Wallet. Wallet is a place to store your cryptocurrency holdings. Many exchanges offer digital wallets. Wallets may be hot, like we talked about, online and software-based, or cold, offline, usually on a device. All right, thanks for your time and attention today. Today we covered the A to Zs of cryptocurrency, your basic lingo, uh, your basic words that you need to use to talk in conversations to sound smart, but also to communicate with other people on the blockchain involved in cryptocurrency. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, please type them below. Uh, we try to answer all of our questions. And if you have a good one, uh, we're going to make it a topic of our future Vetcoin ep Bootcamp episode. So just to remind you, this video is brought to you by Vetcoin. We're a nonprofit organization that seeks to harness the power of the blockchain to change the lives of veterans for the better. If you want to join us on our mission, visit us at www.vetcoinhq.com. Also, if you made it this far, please note the QR code on the right-hand side. Uh, for a limited time offer, we are offering free airdrops of Vetcoin for new users. As always, we salute you veterans, keep your powder dry, and see you on the high ground. See you next time.